Welcome back to our Farcaster 101 series. I'm Lindsay, and today we are going to be diving into frames, a revolutionary concept that is transforming user interaction on Farcaster. So with that, let's dive in. Frames are not just ordinary applications. They are self-contained experiences that live right within your Farcaster feed. Imagine playing a game, ordering services, or interacting with content directly from your feed. That's the power of frames. Something that's truly remarkable about frames is their platform agnostic nature. While most of the buzz is around JavaScript, really any technology that can serve HTML content can power a frame. And when it comes to building these innovative frames, developers can turn to the Farcaster Development Kit, or FDK. The FDK streamlines the process, allowing creators to focus on crafting unique and engaging experiences without worrying about the underlying complexities. Frames also embrace an open graph standard, which you've seen anytime on social media with rich previews. Farcaster frames extend this by adding extra meta tags for interactive elements and endpoint URLs for post requests. This is where the magic happens. These post requests can carry crucial user information and signature data, enabling a myriad of interactive possibilities. And let's talk about some amazing innovations that's already being created with frames. From chatting with emojis to playing classics like Doom, the versatility is astounding. But one area that's really taking off is NFT minting. With Farcaster's open network allowing wallet connections, Developers can craft frames that interact directly with a user's blockchain wallet, offering personalized, immersive experiences. And that is just a glimpse into frames, a revolutionary way to interact with each other on the decentralized web. If you'd like to see more bite-sized Farcaster 101 videos or pinata tutorials, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and keep up with our videos. In the meantime, I hope you stay curious and happy pinning. Bye, y'all.